Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Now, this customer sent me two laptops. One was the Asus Vivo book from the last video. You remember the one with the short capacitor? So this one, we fixed it. And now we have left uh, Lenovo T470. Fold, not uh, powering on. So this is a nice i5 laptop. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Let's plug the charger. Oh, this is a regular charger. Check there, the Lenovo. Uh, I should have this here. Yeah, I do have it. Let's see. Good. Now let's plug the charger. So plug in the charger and it's taking no power at all. Nothing. Zero. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. No current at all. Good. Let's uh, open the laptop. And let's try to have a look inside. What can go wrong on this model? Okay, so the laptop, it's open. So here is the charging port. It's looking, it's looking good. Let's plug the charger again. And what we are checking first? The main power rail, yeah, you're right. So checking the main power rail, ground. Uh, plus, and we have zero volts on the main power rail. The voltage which is coming into the laptop, let's see, 19.5, check on the screen. So the voltage it is coming on the motherboard, but the main power rail is missing. Uh, I can't see the input circuit here, so I'm assuming we have to take the motherboard out. You know what? We checked and the main parallel is missing, but one second. The main parallel is shorted. No, the main parallel is not shorted. No. Okay. You can't really get lucky twice, yeah? <laughs> the, other, uh, the other laptop was a shorted cap, but this one looks a little bit more complicated. You have to take the keyboard out first before we are taking the motherboard. Okay, so we took the motherboard out. Huh? Can you spot any problem? The AC chip has some things on it. Oh, no, no, it's some kind of resin. The input circuit, I mean, I swear, someone worked there, or... Or what is that? No, the input circuit is here. Check that, and you have a fuse and two MOSFETs. Let's have a look under the microscope. Oh, it's the TPS chip. Okay, they use resin. <laughs> Uh, okay, let me, let's check the input circuit, let's check the MOSFETs, and the fuse, the fuse is good, lol, no way, the fuse is burned, how, the first MOSFET, the first MOSFET is short, check on the screen, uh, zero ohms, and the second MOSFET, the second MOSFET is good, <laughs> Now, checking with ground, the main power is shorted, lol. But we checked the main power rail, it was not shorted. Yeah, so you have the fuse, you have first MOSFET, second MOSFET, then here is the main power rail, which has zero ohms. No, has like, yeah, zero, exactly zero ohms. So the fuse is burned, the first MOSFET is burned. And the main power really shorted. Let's try to find out what is shorted. So I will come with the power supply. I will lower the voltage to like 0 0.9. Uh, ground here. And plus, exactly 
uh, at the output of the second MOSFET. Now, how can I do it? And it's taking two amps. Two amps, and something is getting hot there. And that's all, nothing else. Only, only there. So basically here. Uh, let's have a look closer. So here somewhere, let's use some alcohol, alcohol and coming with the power here. That cap is getting evaporated first, check there. You can see? The problem is the short resistance, yeah? Ch check on the voltage, yeah? 0 0.4 volts. So I will raise the current, 4.6. Yeah, pay attention on that capacitor. So that capacitor, check there, is bubbling. You can see it? Check there, it's bubbling. Just to understand the amount of current uh, that capacitor is carrying. Yeah, the capacitor is gone. Let's remove that uh, capacitor. We have 480 degrees, perfect. So the capacitor is removed. We still have short, let's check. No short, huh? no short. Now let's go back to the input circuit. So this MOSFET is good. This MOSFET, zero ohms, is shorted. And the fuse is still burned, right? Yeah. Okay, let's replace the first MOSFET, it's a, it's, it's a channel P MOSFET, right? Yeah, looks like, good. Yeah, we found it, we found it here, channel P MOSFET. Let's take one MOSFET, yeah, we have two channel P MOSFETs here, we need only one, perfect. Uh, let's solder this MOSFET here. Like that. Good. Perfect, the MOSFET is soldered. And all what we need is a fuse, huh? If I will remove the fuse, you will say I'll, I'm dodgy, right? Yeah. That's what you will say. Let's do it right. So basically, you see this is a ceramic fuse. So inside of this fuse, you have a tiny wire which got burned. So I will leave the fuse here, I will only replace the wire which is burned, yeah? That's why we are calling this a proper calibrated fuse, yeah. Perfect. Now, if I'm coming with uh, 19 volts, what will gonna happen? Let's see, so 19 volts, good. Coming with 19 here. And it's taking 560 milliamps, check on the screen. So probably the board just, yeah, the fan is spinning. Check here, check here the fan. Yeah, just stop. So I believe this board is working fine. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. I can't believe this is a lucky customer. I mean, both laptops, uh, they have uh, fixable holes. Okay, let me put the board back. I will uh, quick forward uh, the video.
Okay, so the laptop is back in place, plug in the battery, good. Let's plug the charger. Plug in the charger and it's taking no current, 10 milliamps. Let's press the power button. Coming on, 700 milliamps, check that. Huh? We reset the BIOS, so probably we have to wait a little bit. Sure, we're fine, right? Yeah. 800. Probably the battery is not charging because uh, because my charger ID pin. So the laptop switched off. Not sure because we have the charging sign here. But let's see. Oh, should have picture. Just wait. No, I'm proper confident on this one. I mean, the the fault was have nothing to do with the uh, with the picture. Nine hundred, and we have picture. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I told you. I told you. I'm confident. Uh, my concern is the battery. I mean, 600 milliamps does the does the power which is taken by the by the board escape to continue? Oh, we do have Windows. Okay, okay, all good, all good. Not sure where the BIOS battery it was. Here or here? Yeah, probably here. Uh, the battery is discharged. We have the pre-charge current like 40 milliamps. Let's check the voltage. We can check the voltage actually to see if the laptop is pushing voltage into the battery or current. Uh, we have 8.7 on the battery and the voltage is going up. So that means it's charging. But that's the pre-charge current. Good. So we fix it. Yeah, we fix it. Now, the lessons to learn from this video is sometimes I'm wrong. So, on the beginning, we said, okay, that's the main power rail. Actually, I don't know what it is. Let's check. So, this is... We have 12.7. It is the main power rail. But the main power rail is created on this laptop. So, this is this power rail. It is created... And uh, the short, that capacitor, is before the power supply creating the main power rail, which is 12 volts. You can see 12.7. So sometimes I'm wrong. But when I'm wrong, you can always find a reference point from where you can start. And that's the input circuit. Because the input circuit is from the charging port, first MOSFET, second MOSFET. And then you know there is your main power rail. So this laptop indeed has two main power rails. Okay, so I'm going to stop now. I would say uh, thank you for watching. You know, just like, subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button, and you can get instantly access to our uh, members-only cool collection and uh, discord private channels for support with your repairs also you can have a look on our uh, united kingdom uh, ebay where you can find some cool and unique products united states ebay store or our patreon page thank you